All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel in another video. Today, I'm going to be breaking down what exactly high ticket affiliate marketing is and how it actually works. For those of you who are new here, I'm Nate Ryan and I create content all about affiliate marketing. I review affiliate programs and pretty much anything related to making money online. So if you want to be updated on content like that, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button because I upload videos almost daily. And with any more wasting of your time, I'll go ahead and just jump right into it and we'll just dive into what we're going to be talking about. So what exactly is high ticket affiliate marketing? High ticket affiliate marketing isn't much different than regular affiliate marketing, which is where you promote other people's products and upon successfully making a referral, you get a commission. The only difference is with high ticket affiliate marketing, you promote usually expensive products with very generous commission levels. And I say with generous commission levels because say you were promoting an expensive product on Amazon, you still get a very minimal commission. So this isn't necessarily high ticket affiliate marketing because you would only get a sig because you would only get a slight commission in comparison to promoting an expensive product with a high commission. This business model is becoming increasingly popular and it's actually on a massively upward trend. So if you're thinking about getting involved now, it's a perfect opportunity and a great time. I definitely see this business model blowing up over the coming years. So getting in right now could be a great opportunity. But if you're watching this in the future, it's obviously still a beautiful business model and affiliate marketing is going to be relevant for as long as people are buying products. So when you're looking to get into high ticket affiliate marketing, I would highly recommend that you look for digital products, specifically courses, programs, or things along that nature, just because the commissions are gonna be significantly higher for you as the affiliate, and especially because the overhead and the cost and all of the things that come along with actually selling digital products as an, a business owner or a product owner is usually a lot less, so you can actually get paid more as an affiliate. It also allows your customers to get their products instantly. So it just is overall a better experience in my opinion. And it's definitely the route that I would recommend going if you're going to get into high ticket affiliate marketing. And it might actually be even difficult to get into a high ticket affiliate marketing if you're not promoting like digital courses or programs or products along that nature. And I'm not saying that you have to play in the make money online space or anything like that, because you could find digital courses or programs in every industry, you just might have to get a little creative. Say you were promoting a 12 week fitness course or a e cookbook or something along those lines, you can still make a significant amount of money. So there are only really two high ticket business models that I'm really going to cover and that I would really recommend promoting. Number one is going to be promoting expensive courses that pay out a significant commission. Say you're promoting a thousand dollar program that pays you a $500 commission. That means, you know, each sale that you would successfully make, you would receive $500. So that means if you want to make $5,000 a month, you only need to make 10 sales a month. It makes achieving your income goals very realistic and is, in my opinion, way better than trying to promote low ticket programs or even monthly recurring programs just because the cash flow on the front end is a lot more for you. And the second type of program that I will mention is something that can be called as a tripwire offer or a value ladder program. Things like Legendary Marketer or other courses along this nature are what you would call a value ladder offer, which is basically where you have a low introductory offer um, to get them into the ecosystem or inside of the program or the product, and then the company will do upselling and do heavy lifting for you. These types of business models are very great if you're looking for a hands-off type of system or if you're looking to promote it without actually doing much of the legwork yourself. But with that said, you are also not in control of the amount of high ticket sales you achieve because you're basically leaving it in the hands of another business. But with that said, I would highly recommend that you use like a one, two combo. So for me, I promote mainly two different programs and I will promote a high ticket program on the front end. But then if my referral can't afford that or they're not looking to invest that amount of money, then of course I will refer them to my lower ticket tripwire offer, which will then upsell them in the back end, which is if they don't end up purchasing, it's okay, but there's still the opportunity of achieving that high ticket commission. So in reality, this is really the only difference between high ticket affiliate marketing and regular affiliate marketing is you're just promoting expensive products that pay you a bigger commission.
And believe it or not, it's just as hard to get someone to sign up for an expensive program as it is to get an easy program. And most of the time, if you can get someone to sign up for an expensive course, they'll actually have more success and take it more seriously because they actually invested something into themselves and into the program that you are promoting. In my opinion, it just becomes a better business model all around for you as the affiliate, the vendor who owns the product, and for the prospect that you're referring it to. So if you are unsure about how this whole business model works, I will take a dive into my computer right now and I'll just give you a quick overview of how the whole concept works as a whole and basically just break it down so that way you can see from an overview. So here we are and this is basically going to break down as a whole how affiliate marketing works and of course you're not going to be restricted to strictly creating content on TikTok or Facebook. This is just the diagram that I am making an example of. So first things first, you are going to have to create some type of content and it doesn't necessarily matter where. This can be YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, you can even do a blog. It doesn't necessarily matter, but without creating content, you're really not going to have a lot of success online as with affiliate marketing. You're going to need to create some type of content. And the way that you're going to have a lot of success and you're going to be able to make a lot of money with this is if you create content that's geared towards specific types of industries, say you were a um, in the make money online space. So for me, I create content all about affiliate marketing and making money online. And then I recommend courses that help people build their own affiliate marketing businesses and accelerate that entire process. So it aligns with the people that I'm already building an audience of. So it's not like I'm trying to promote weight loss products to people that aren't going to be interested in weight loss. I am obviously promoting things that they would be interested in. So then the next thing is, of course, like I mentioned, is you're going to drive them to a opt-in page where you'll collect some type of contact information like their email address or, um, you know, their Facebook page or something along that those lines, something where you're going to be able to follow up with them and continue to build a relationship with them. And the reason for this is because as an affiliate, you don't own the programs and the products that you're promoting. So it's very important to be building your email list um, because it can actually be looked at like as your job security and you want to have an email list because you can continue to promote products or programs to people whether they purchase or not. So as I mentioned, you know, you'll end up putting them on an email list. And this is very important because as you grow and you continue to build your business, of course, you can then push people to other platforms. So say you you developed a following on TikTok, um, you can then push them to Facebook or your YouTube. So every time that you move on and you continue to grow on a new platform, it's not like you're starting over. But then you'll direct them to a bridge page, which is basically where you'll warm them up and you'll build a little bit of rapport and then some of the portion of the people will go all the way over here to your sales page. And if they make it to this last step, this is where you'll actually make the money. So it's really as simple as this. It's virtually no different than regular affiliate marketing, but it will require some, you know, a little bit more of building relationship and nurturing your leads if you are promoting high ticket. Uh, my biggest recommendation if you are trying to learn high ticket affiliate marketing would be my favorite program, Super Affiliate Accelerator. It's also probably one of the best affiliate programs because you can get significant commissions and it's an amazing program because it teaches people the core concepts that are translatable into every business model. So the emails are very important because you want to have this email list not only to re-recommend or push them back to the specific product that you were promoting in the first place, but it also allows you to continue to promote products to them in the future. You can expect on average around a dollar. The goal is around a dollar for each person on your email list. So could you imagine having you know 10,000 people on your email list, being able to send out an email and make significant amounts of money just by simply sending out an email? So that is basically affiliate marketing in a nutshell. And that's, uh, in a sense, high ticket affiliate marketing is no different than regular affiliate marketing, but it just allows you to really break your income goals and makes a significant amount of money easier. You know, if you're promoting products on Amazon and things like that, you need serious amounts of volume. The average cart value for a product on Amazon is $42 and their commission rates cap out at 10% which means at best case scenario, you could expect to make $4.20 per sale 
for every product that you refer on Amazon.com. So if you wanted to hit $4,200 in a month, you would need to make a thousand sales a month. Versus if you promoted a program that sold, that paid you $1,000 per sale as an affiliate, you would only need to make five sales a month and you would make five grand. It makes it so much easier for beginners and way less intimidating because you're not having to do serious amounts of volume and you can virtually make serious amounts of money with very little traffic and a very small audience. So if you made it all the way to the end of this video, be sure to drop something so if you made it all the way to the end of this video, be sure to comment below why you think high ticket affiliate marketing is better than low ticket, or if you think low ticket's better. Let me know in the comments. And if you made it all the way to the end, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because I do almost daily content about affiliate marketing. And I'm trying to look. Because I do almost daily content about affiliate marketing, and I'm really genuinely here to help you and have you start your own high ticket affiliate marketing business because it absolutely changed my life. And I'll see you in the next video.